It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers, and it's coming up next. This is such a special place. You drive through the streets of Green Bay, no tall buildings, quaint houses, and then boom, right there in the middle of the neighborhood is iconic Lambeau Field. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Green Bay Packers. No two NFL teams have played more often than the Bears and Packers, and we're underway from Lambeau. Taken at the goal line. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And the Packers pick it up. And they're already in the red zone. The 18-yard line is to pass. Here's Jordan Love. Touchdown, Packers. Romeo Dobbs from 10 yards out. They'll look to throw. Complete, they cannot convert, and the Bears will get the football back. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well. And there he goes, right side. Touchdown, Chicago. Just a spectacular run by the always dynamic Justin Fields. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Now Carlson for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. And just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. Now Fields. He'll get that underneath to Herbert as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Now he's free at the 35. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first down, Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range as well, down at the 17-yard line. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be a 34-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. Hey, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was the Packers' leading man, quarterback Jordan Love, who turned in a solid performance in that first half. He was on point, throwing a touchdown pass to help his guys take the lead into the break. These two teams going through their final adjustments. It's about time for the second half in Green Bay. So for the call, we go back up to Lambeau and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Now a hit and a loose football. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. So that's a solid start to the second half. Said, but uh, they had to have it. They needed a spark to get them going here in the second half, and they got it right away. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more what you're getting with tight ends are guys with much more receiver 
than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. And maybe the wrong read there is he's going to go down immediately. Here we go. Throwing on second and long. Fields steps away. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Good yardage there on the scramble, and all of a sudden they're left with a third and two. Much more manageable. Well, they need two. Here's third down. They'll run with Herbert. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They'll go again with Herbert, and he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Only a yard on the game there as time will run out on this third quarter of play. Back now at Lambeau. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Fields to throw on third and one. That's to Martin. He's got it. Touchdown, Bears. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bears have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams oh, yeah. guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. A minute 53 remaining. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Now a first down carry by Jones. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. They'll come up now. Second and nine. Here's Love. Eluding the pressure right. And it's knocked away and incomplete. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Love. He sets up the screen to Jones. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. First things first here, they got to pick up the first down. And remember, it is fourth down, so they've got to pick up a completion here. Otherwise, this one's over. Desperation time here. Love on fourth down. That is caught. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Just... 
Love going to give this one to Jones. And able to work his way down to the 16. And now the timeout call. So five seconds left. And a field goal would send us to overtime. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called a game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. Here's first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So it's the Bears who will have the first chance to win this thing as we are underway here in overtime. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. Here we go. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The drive will start with an option going left. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. And the Packers pick it up. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. And what an awful time to cough up the football here in OT. And all coaches talk about, they preach it like crazy, minimizing mistakes, taking care of the football. In this case, <laughs> that didn't happen. And now they put themselves in position to lose the game. Yeah, field goal wins it. That's all they need. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Ready? First throw in overtime for Love. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Ready? On second down, it's Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Love looking to throw it. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. So it's all come down to this for Anders Carlson. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And this one is no good. He missed it. And we will play on here in overtime. Oh, that's so deflating, Brandon, because you know he was thinking to himself, just give me a shot. Just put us in a position to win the game and I'll get it done. But this kick, not on target, and we'll keep going here. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this track. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, Ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the yeah. coach's address? And there's a, so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game 
situations. Doesn't always work out, though. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. What a run there. I mean, you've got speed, elusiveness, escapability all rolled into one. And we all know that quarterbacks are coached. They get the ball to the guys who could do all the things you just described. You want those guys who have speed, elusiveness, and escapability all rolled into one with the ball in their hands. And guess what? It's him. So there's no sense in throwing it or handing it off when you can do all of that yourself. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And they've come in here and stolen one on the road. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full of confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. That'll